Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to a, another drinks review. Today we're viewing Shrip Shrap. Yes, it's actually called that, Shrip Shrap, if I've, if I've said that correct. <laughs> so I got this particular can off of a website called Land of Munchies, uh, who sell, you know, like American drinks and food sweets. Um, so yeah, look them up on Google, Land of Munchies. I'll put the link to their website in the description below as well. So I got this one off that website. I believe this was £1.50 to £2. I forgot to check the email, email actually how much this was just before doing the video, but it was actually reasonably priced. I was actually quite surprised how reasonably priced this website was. So I bought a few other things and uh, saw this and thought, why not pick it up and try it? So what do we have? It's cola and orange. So we'll give you a full 360 of the can first. So we have a fairly simple can design. We have the kind of, I guess, most of, the, most of the can being red and then we have a red and orange bottom for I guess the red being cola and then the orange being orange and we have that just repeated on both sides and then on the back we have all the ingredients and stuff which are not in English because this is a import drink or export depending where you are basically it's a non-English drink hence why it was on their the, the website so the bottom of the can is all standard and silver and the top is all standard and silver as well including the pour ring so taking a closer look at the can so does that look familiar to that kind of logo it looks similar to the pepsi logo doesn't it kind of the different colors you get at the top top and the bottom well yes you would be correct because this is actually a pepsico product and it says pepsico uh, deutschland so i guess this is a dutch product or something like that because uh, the language looks to be that as well so yes yeah, a pepsi product so strip strap cola and orange so again nothing's in english so we have to just guess what's what, but I can kind of make out anyway. So we have colon cohelen hydrate, which I'm assuming is carbohydrates, and then below it, it's got Davon Zucker, which of course is of which sugars. So sugar content is 9.7 grams per 100 ml, so it's pretty much bang on the average of 10 grams uh, for fizzy drinks. And apart from that, like I said, I can't, I can't read anything else and interestingly in the other countries as they have they have that machine recycling where you can recycle your bottles and cans and get some money back hey isn't that a good idea so anyways it's nice and cold i have got a cup let's get straight to it hopefully it won't explode over me so cola and orange there isn't really any apart from kind of coke's orange clementine they done a while ago which was i think that was diet coke as well there hasn't really been that much orange coke or or Pepsi or cola drinks if you think about it. So I'm actually hoping this is going to taste fairly quick. Not that I'm going to buy more at £1.50 a can or more, but I'm saying I'm just hoping it's nice because it would be nice to have a cola orange drink for once. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be the colour of death, which is the colour of just black, dark brown, which cola is always going to be that. The smell and taste, well, we'll have to find out. As I already said, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Careful. Cool. There we go. So surprise, surprise. And ooh, there we go. Cola is so fizzy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually, okay. We'll inspect that color in a second. Surprise by that, I thought it'd be a lot darker as cola, Coke, and Pepsi products are. Although I say cola, it's actually, actually that's an interesting fact before I get to the drink. It says it's a Pepsi product, but they've labeled it as cola. So technically, even though it's a Pepsi product, is that cola not a Pepsi mixture? Is that literally a separate cola made by Pepsi, just under a different brand? So interesting fact there, and I'm, I'm not too sure, obviously, but interesting fact to think about. So, so anyways, that is the color. It is probably, well, it actually looks disgusting. It looks like dirty drain water, doesn't it? It looks really nasty, but hey, color's a color. Doesn't matter at the end of the day, but yeah, it does not, that doesn't look good at all, does it? It's, it, yeah, that doesn't look good at all. It's got a little tinge of, I guess, the light, well, it's basically a light brown, and I guess that may be the orange doing that, but for the most part, yeah, it's like freaking dirty dishwasher or dirty tap water or something. Ugh, it looks nasty as hell. Uh, fizz, like I said, there was quite a lot of bubbles on top, as you'd expect from this kind of product, and uh, let's give it a closer smell now. Hmm. Smells quite interesting. I can smell actually, I can smell a hint of oranges in there and then kind of a, a generic cola smell. But yeah, I can definitely smell some oranges in there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to be really nice. 
yeah, I can smell the oranges, so it smells quite nice. Uh, but nevertheless, let's try some. Hmm. In. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So straight away I noticed it's definitely got just a cheap cola taste uh, as you'd expect, I guess, from a cola product. Literally just taste of like some uh, generic cheap cola, which I've, you know, it's like I've tasted that cola before. It really tastes generic. Um, the sweetness side, before I get to the orange, for having, uh, how much has it got in total? 32 gram, 32.1 grams of sugar in total. It's not actually that sweet, to be honest, and it's not syrupy either. They've hit that sugar really, really well in there, and it's just not sweet, and it's not syrupy. I mean, I'd say it's probably, it's definitely below medium sweetness, definitely, but by all means, having all that sugar, it's not sweet whatsoever, or syrupy at all, like the American fizzy drinks. It's just not that sweet. Hmm. That's weird. So, as I said, you start off with cheap cola flavour, which, yeah, it, does, it doesn't taste great. It really doesn't taste great. And then, to be fair, you do get quite a nice orange flavour coming through. And the orange flavour is like, it's nothing you'd expect from like a generic kind of fizzy one. So it's, it's not like a fizzy uh, orange Fanta or it's nothing like a supermarket fizzy drink or anything like that. It's, it, how do I explain this? Because obviously there's so many different types of oranges and stuff like that. It's almost like it's the kind of American kind of big style kind of Florida sun ripened oranges, if that makes sense. Rather than say like a, a Satsuma or a Clementine orange like over, we get over here in England, you know, which are the really small oranges. It tastes of the really big massive oranges, which are really hard to peel. It tastes like that. And that's not a bad thing because... And that's not a bad thing because, you know, we're so used to like normal orange juice over here where it literally tastes of like just bog standard oranges or satsumas or something. This has that kind of, again, it has that, oh, excuse me, fizzy, so much fizz in these drinks. It has that um, American big orange style taste and that's all right for it. But unfortunately, it doesn't go well with the cola in this drink, um, which is the same because they've got a good orange flavour here, but the back in the cola just isn't good to it, which is really a shame. So like I said, you get that nice orange flavor and it's a good flavor, I'd say it's about medium strongness. There's a good amount of orange flavor there. And then the aftertaste, well, that kind of leaves a little bit of an orange aftertaste in your mouth. The aftertaste isn't too great to be fair. There's a little bit of orange in there, but it kind of loses that real orange taste it had when I first drank it, when it gets to the aftertaste. So I'll take a few more sips. Yeah, that cheap cola, then the orange, which is nice, and then, yeah, the after, yeah, the aftertaste, which is a bit odd as well. So, yeah, interesting drink, interesting drink. Hmm, cola, hmm, orange, and then that aftertaste, yeah. Okay, so, very interesting drink. I hoped the cola would have been a bit better. Now, I honestly reckon if they would have put, literally, Pepsi, max in there and made the orange one then it could have been decent because we all know how nasty these cheap cola drinks taste you know we've all tried a bottle of non-branded coke pepsi cola and oh, sorry a non-branded bottle of coke or pepsi and they just taste crap don't they they can't make all the supermarket colas and all the bar colas they all just they can't match coke and pepsi so it's a shame, but the orange flavour is decent. It was something to try, and hey, it starts your along that lines anyway. So, at the end of the day, so by Pepsi, Pepsi, uh, PepsiCo. So, interesting. That is a, again a sub brand of them. But, anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar there.